open the bag. Hello YouTube, it's accurate. Well, you're probably watching this video because you heard the news that Native Instruments are gonna drop Machine Mark III on October 5th. I'm really happy to be one of the guys that actually knew about this before the announcement and I'm also gonna get the unit here in my hands before the official release date. That's for making videos and getting the feel for it and start working with the Machine Mark III as soon as it's possible. You might have seen me work on the OP-1 quite a lot on this YouTube channel, but the fact of the matter is that Machine Mark II has been my main workhorse for a bunch of years now. I got the Machine Mark I pretty much when it came out, maybe a year later or so, and a bunch of years after that I switched up to Machine Mark II. Over the last years I've tried stuff like the Korg Volka series, I've had the Roland SP404 and the SP404 SX, uh, I've also tried like the pocket operator here on the channel and I've just ended up selling all of those units. And that's mainly because I'm kind of stuck in my ways when it comes to the workflow in Machine. I'm using Machine as the main workhorse as I said, but I also use the OP-1 as a little sidekick to that. And I like being able to work with analog drums from the drum brute inside of this whole little ecosystem that I've built up. So that plus uh, one or two MIDI controllers, that's pretty much all I need. Plus of course my trusty old turntable and my vinyl collection. And since I'm pretty much an old school guy and I want to stick with my stuff, I'm gonna switch over to Machine Mark III. And just the day before yesterday, I actually sold my Machine Mark II to a really nice guy, just like 30 minutes from my house. And uh, now I'm just going into Machine Mark III 100%. So for a guy like me who's using Machine a lot, what do the MK3 version actually bring to the table? First of all, I'm gonna mention the screens, as everyone else does, because it's a really huge upgrade compared to the MK2 version. MK2 were black and white and pretty low res, and this is like high resolution, full color. It's gonna make a big difference when it comes to chopping samples. A lot of the times when I'm working on tracks, I try to lower the lid on my MacBook and not look at that screen at all. Just follow the small screens on the MK2 controller, and that actually works out pretty well. But compared to the new ones on the MK3, that's just gonna be a really big upgrade. So yeah, that's my first point I wanna make. The second thing I wanna mention is that it's also an integrated audio interface inside of the new machine. So that's gonna make a big difference. Maybe I can just sell my own audio interface, maybe not. But I can just plug stuff right into the back of the controller and sample stuff and just have a quicker and a much better workflow, in my opinion. Native Instruments are also saying that the pads are bigger and better and more sensitive to the touch and I mean that can't be a bad thing even though I was pretty satisfied with the pads on the Machine 2 controller as well. I must say that I like the looks of that little touch bar right above the group section on the left side of the controller. I think that's going to be really useful when it comes to pitching stuff up and down, making small like transitional effects and stuff like that. And I'm really happy they didn't go with this really big circle thing they had on the Machine Studio controller. Because I like the clickable encoder you have on the MK2 controller a lot. And on the third version it looks like pretty much the same thing but it's also working like a little joystick up, down, left, right. I like the looks of that and that could be a really cool and simple way to interact with stuff inside of the machine software. So that's it. Those are the things that I think are the coolest that I know of right now with the Machine Mark III controller. Please make sure to subscribe, like, comment and all that stuff. Become a Patreon if you like to, the links are down below. I'm posting more videos on the Keylab 61 Essential as well as, of course, the Native Instruments Machine Mark III as soon as it comes here. So, bye, see you in the next one.